don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's go. Hello everyone, Flux is here. It has better prompt understanding and details than mid journey. It can do real hands, and it's really what SD3 should have been. Let me show you how to get it running now in Confi UI. Let's first download the necessary models from Hugging Face. We're opening this first link. You're going to want to download this clip L Safe Tensors. If you are on a high spec machine, you want to download this FP16. And if you're on a low spec machine, you want to download this FP8. So download them by clicking the little download button here. Then you want to download the V. That's going to go in the Confi UI models VAE folder. You get that from this L here. And you want the file that's called AE.SafeTensors or AE SFT. And just click the download. Then you want the actual flux model. I choose the Schnell Safe Tensors. These are pretty big 24 gigabytes here and just click the download. Finally, we're also going to download the LoRa. So that's available in this link here. And this is a realism LoRa. If you are on a high spec machine, you want to download this FP16. And if you're on a low spec machine, you want to download this FP8. Let's start with the FP8. We have here all the necessary files and we have to put each one in the right folder. So select the clip L and FP8. Then go in your comfy UI models clip folder. Just drop them in there. And again, comfy UI models V. And then you should have your AE.SFT or safe tensors here. Just drop them in there. And again, Comfy UI models LORAS. You should have your LORAS here. Just drop them. And again, Comfy UI models. Find a net this time and drop the Schnell model. You can now close all windows. You can go into the Comfy UI examples workflow page. And if you go to this page, you will have some images. And you can take these images and drag and drop them into your Comfy UI. First of all, let's update our Comfy by clicking updating Comfy UI and Comfy We Manager because we have to make sure that we have the latest Comfy UI update. You have to restart Comfy UI. Then let's drag and drop the image to load the workflow. Make sure you have the right model and queue prompt. All right, as you can see from the finished generation, we are getting the exact same results as from the workflow image that we downloaded. I wanna talk about actual Flux model you have two to choose from, the Schnell or the Dev one. If you have eight to 12 gigabytes of VRAM, I would go with the Schnell. If you have more, I would go with the Dev one. So here we have the Schnell and down here we have the Dev. So it's the Flux Schnell Safe Tensor, the Flux Dev Safe Tensor. These are pretty big 24 gigabytes here. There is an FP8 available from PG. So if you're really having issues with your system and the requirements, you can use the 12 gigabytes FP8. You can find it on KYJ Hugging Face, but I would recommend going with the other ones if you can. Let's try with another prop. I found this breaking bread one. PC actually worked surprisingly well. This is going to be a much quicker generation. If you're having memory issues, you can change the weight type to one of the FP8 ones. 
As you can see here in this image, Flux has a better prompt understanding and details. The text is clear backing bread. Backing is a dangerous game. It's really what SD3 should have been. Let me show you also how to set up that LoRa loader. If you have loaded the initial workflow, just create here load LoRa, and then you can select here Flux. We're going to swap that. Let that go in there. And let that go in there. We're going to take from the clip instead of that going from the clip loader into the text prompt. I'm going to get that clip into the LoRa, then that clip into the prompt. And that way you're done and you're going to have the Flux Realism LoRa running. Now, you can prompt for wherever you want. Let's try with a slim girl with red head and cat eyes makeup and upper body shot with a red necklace choker. So let's cue prompt. So, I think it turned out pretty well. Here we have our finished image of red head girl, and cat eyes makeup, and a red neck lace choker. And the prompt understanding is just amazing. We are going to push the prompt further with Winnie the Pooh in a honey pot where it is written, Honey. The generation time is a little long, but the results are very successful. For this time, the result is not very well. We have a double text and it's not natural. It's written with honey. We can fix this with more details in the prompt, but I prefer to do it differently for testing. Let's try by increasing the number of step at 10. As you can see, it takes a long time to generate a subject that we will talk about shortly after. And here's the result, much better this time Let's try one last time without the LoRa, just a bypass is necessary. And here is our image.
We will now compare the results obtained with the FP8 model with those of the FP16. I put the model in the clit folder of Comfy UI. I refresh the page where the workflow both work. I make sure to choose the FP16 carefully. Sometime we have to reload Comfy, and here is the result. Some errors in the text. One or two adjustments on the stats should do it. So now, I will talk about the new Flux, not the original Flux. This is Flux in F4, and what's different? The regular Flux dev takes about 50 seconds to run on my machine. On a RTX 38, 70 Ti, or 4090 this takes 24 seconds to run. And you can see well actually here. The last two generations took 13 seconds. So, that's a massive difference. Basically, you only need to do one thing, and that is to load the Flux Dev and F4 model. Right as these steps, you're downloading the model. The link is in the description. Then, we're going into our models folder and find checkpoint. Not a net. This time is a checkpoint. And then drop that in here. Then you need to go into your custom nodes folder or into your manager and find the NF4 bits and bytes custom node. So if you can find that in the manager, great. If not, you can install via git URL. Well, let's see custom nodes folder and up here type CMD. And then you can copy paste that git clone Press enter. Now you see you're cloning into that. Then you can go into that folder, which would be confi UI bits and bytes. And we need to pick install requirements.txt. That's going to install all the requirements that you need. Now it's important to do that. Go to Manager and find Dev Channel. Then go to Custom Nodes Manager and find an F4 and install.
And now restart. Now double click to load NF4 loader. Connect it like me. Make sure you choose the dev model and the FP16 clip and you can stack your prompt. As you can see, Flux is a new art image generation. These models excel in prompt adherence, visual quality, and output diversity. It comes in three distinct variants. Flux.1 Pro, the pinnacle of the Flux.1 lineup, offering top-tier performance in image generation. Flux.1 Dev, an open-weight, guidance-distilled model design for non-commercial use. It delivers quality and prompt adherence similar to Flux.1's Pro, but with greater efficiency. Flux.1 Schnell, the fastest model variant, optimized for local development and personal use. So that's what we have with Flux now. I will let you test some prompt like Black Octopus Kitten Eye Prompt. Thanks for your contributions to the channel, and see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, keep in touch.